Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn a program in C to separate odd and even integers into separate arrays. First of all, inside the main function, declare one array A. Size of array is six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. These are the elements of our array. Int is the data type. A is the name of the array. Six is the array size, and one, two, three, four, five, six are the elements of our array. Then declare two more arrays for odd and even integers. Int b of six. B array is for even integers. And c of six. C array is for odd indices then declare loop counter variable i is a loop counter variable and j is a variable for even integer and k is an element for odd integers after that separate odd and even integers into separate arrays Apply a for loop for i is equal to zero and i less than six and i plus plus. Inside the body of for loop, put the if condition. If a of i modulus two is equal to equal to zero. If this condition is evaluated to be true, then given number is an even number. Even number stored in an array b of j. b of j is equal to a of i. Element at index a of i is stored at b of j index. And increase the value of j by one. If given condition is evaluated to be false, then else part is to be evaluated. That means given number is a odd number. Odd number stored in an array c of k. C of k is equal to a of i. And increase the value of k by one. When this condition is evaluated to be false, then control transfer to the out of loop. Then, with the help of for loop, first of all display all the even integers for i is equal to zero, i less than j. And i plus plus with the help of printer function, display the even integers one by one. Similarly, display all the odd integers. B is the array for even integers and C is the array for odd integers. Run this code. After the execution of this code, even integers are two, four, six, and odd integers are one, three, five. Let's see the dry run. First of all, i is zero. Zero is less than six. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then check the if condition. If a of i, a of zero, a of zero is 
एलिमेंट एट जीरो इंडेक्स इज वन वन मॉडल टू इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू जीरो कंडीशन इज अवेल्यूएटेड टू बी फॉल्स देन एल्स पार्ट इज टू बी अवेल्यूएटेड सी ऑफ के के इज जीरो सी ऑफ जीरो इज इक्वल टू ए ऑफ जीरो एलिमेंट एट जीरो इंडेक्स इज असाइन टू सी ऑफ जीरो एलिमेंट एट जीरो इंडेक्स इज वन देन के प्लस प्लस के बिकम वन आई प्लस प्लस आई बिकम वन वन इज लेस देन सिक्स कंडीशन इज अवेल्यूएटेड टू बी ट्रू देन चेक द इफ कंडीशन इफ ए ऑफ आई ए ऑफ आई एलिमेंट एट वन इंडेक्स इज टू टू मॉडल टू इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू जीरो कंडीशन इज अवेल्यूएटेड टू बी ट्रू देन बी ऑफ जे इज इक्वल टू ए ऑफ आई नॉ बी ऑफ जे जे इज जीरो B of जीरो is equal to A of I. Element at first index is assigned to B of जीरो Then J plus plus J become वन I plus plus I become टू Two is less than सिक्स Again condition is evaluated to be true. Then check the if condition. If A of I modulus टू is equal to equal to जीरो एलिमेंट एट सेकेंड इंडेक्स इज थ्री थ्री मॉडल टू इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू जीरो कंडीशन इज अवेल्यूएटेड टू बी फॉल्स देन एल्स पार्ट इज टू बी अवेल्यूएटेड सी ऑफ ए के इज वन सी ऑफ वन इज इक्वल टू एलिमेंट एट सेकेंड इंडेक्स इज थ्री then k plus plus k become टू i plus plus i become थ्री थ्री is less than सिक्स condition is evaluated to be true then check the if condition element at index थ्री is फोर फोर मॉडल टू is equal to equal to जीरो condition is evaluated to be true then b of 1 is equal to a of 3 element at third index is 4 and so on finally when this condition is evaluated to be false then with the help of printer function display the message even integer then after that with for loop display all the even integer stored in array b and after that with the help of printf function display the message odd integers and then apply for loop with the help of for loop display all the odd integers stored in array c